He sounds like he's real close. We might be good. I think we might. As long as he's not downstairs, we're good. I don't think. Oh no, he can go downstairs! I'm about to just launch a pebble in. Oh my! What? Oh my! Now, before we get into this episode, guys, I have one important question for you, okay? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Because if you're saying SpongeBob, yeah, that ain't true anymore. The correct answer was no one, because Bikini Bottom has completely fallen right now. And with the end looking closer and closer for this town, it's up to one person to go ahead and get this record set straight, even though, I mean, technically, we play the roles of different characters, but still, guys, one hive might take control of the situation. Let's do it. Yeah, we're back playing around the clock at Bikini Bottom, guys. So, what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. Now, first of all, get this main menu off my screen and replace it with that map. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm gonna ask you guys one question. Have you been keeping up so far with the story? Because if you haven't, we got two parts back that you probably should be checking out. Look, I'm drawing these intros out way too much as of late, guys, and I'm not playing enough game within the first minute or so of video, so cut that crap, okay? Like the episode, let's get it. Dude, why is he looking so shady right now? Squidward, you good, man? You will play a Squidward, then. You will play a Squidward, with it. Why can't I say that? You will play a Squidward within Squidward's monument. The difficulty for this level is average. After Squidward saves SpongeBob and Patrick from the clutches of the cloned Glove World staff, Squidward floors his boatmobile to their homes. And when questioned, Squidward insists that the two head into their homes and grab whatever valuables they can find. Squidward enters his house to seek out the prized possessions. Little does he know that tonight marks the beginning of the annual migration season for wildlife, far and wide on the sea floor, even for the most dangerous of sea creatures. Don't do it, dude. Don't. <laughs> That's my third GoPro gone for the same right. intro. Now, we've seen this intro loads of times. Basically, Squidward has asked these two to go and, you know, get the valuables and then give them a hand, and this happens. <laughs> so Squidward is all on his own. He's got to go ahead and take care of his part of the mission. He is inside his residence, but listen up, guys. Here we go. Oh, that sounds like that giant jellyfish, right? Is it a giant jellyfish? I actually can't remember. Don't matter, guys. I'm going to uh, square okay. up. Let's see. I'm going to need my clarinet, both of my prized paintings, and the wax sculpture I touched up recently. All right. So we see those in the top right corner. Find the bold and brush painting. That's all we got to do. All right, let's get going then. So the residence. Okay, nice chairs, but what the freak? Is that a table or a footrest? 1990 VCR, probably do an upgrade. Nice little dining table. You've got a condiment consisting of, um, well, I don't even know what that is. Kitchen space is clean, but listen, we ain't here to look at people's homes, guys. We've got to get a mission done. So hold up. Squidward's got an elevator in his home, though? Hey, it's what I'm talking about. It's the freak up. I've got a door over here. Let's take a look then. Ooh, interesting artwork. So I see that. Okay, so we got to try and find the paintings that we see in the top right and just get things moving as quick as we can. Take a look on the upper floor. Do we have a flashlight though? We don't. Huh. That better not be one of those idiots. I swear if they break anything else. Dude, are you hearing that bassy rumble? What the? Dude! What the heck do I do? I'm going in the top. I can't get in the top. This sucks. Guys. We got some issues here. Squidward has a dump station and a picture of a dump station. I don't know why. All right, let's go. Let's go. So we're looking for the paintings. Woo! Close the door. Are we good? Bro, he sees me. Help me. Help me. Stay back. Uh, what are you about to do, fella? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got time. Bro, I thought I was dead. Okay, maybe we can find the paintings up here. He's got a lot of artwork. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing this. First of all, I should take the statue once I click the rest of my art. So we're doing this last. All right, I see that, I see that. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. So let's see, do we find any of those paintings up here? Ooh, oh yes, oh yeah. Oh, Dave, I see your self-promotion right there. I mean, fair enough, it's your game. We gotta go back downstairs, guys, and find those other paintings. I guess the dude can't come upstairs? But he's close, though. Hold up, how close? Hello? Oh, he's close. I'm going. I don't care. I'm going. Oh, the elevator's here. So, wait, if we call this ahead of time, Perfect. that might give us a flank route if he's, like, on our case. Let's go. Ooh, we're starting to shake up a bit. Let's go in here. Here we go. Here we go. Check back here. Check back here. Flickering light. That's kind of scary, though. Kind of freaking out. Uh, dude, I see nothing. I'm back in the turd station. I don't find any of these paintings. Oh, crap. He's right there. He's right there. Close the door. Close the door. Yeah. Yeah, you try and follow me, bud. Ooh, that zapper is intense, though. All right, let me check down this way here. Guys, it's really hard to find, like, anything. Oh, my. That is intense. Hang on, let me just check back here. Maybe there's a, a painting or something around here. Um, okay, there's nothing. Let me check back in here. Oh, let's go. Bold and brass, remember, you're not trash to me. Wait, can we carry multiple at the same time? Return... Some level bull crap right there. I hate that. That's crap. Okay, so wait. We carry the paintings. Do we gotta drop them downstairs each time? I can do that if need be. I'm not really too sure, guys. I'm glad that they glow a lot. Where's that clarinet, though? I feel like the clarinet will be in a pretty obvious spot and I've missed it. Check in here. Ooh, back storage room. Let's take a look in here. 
Uh, why don't you use that now, though? Right, let's check back down here. We're looking for... Oh, my God. I was looking for a glowy painting. I found a glowy tentacle dude instead. Let's check back near the elevator. Okay, no paintings there. We only got this room to check out, then, pretty much. And it's the upstairs one. Wait, there's one here, then. So... What do I do with this? Do I drop it? Maybe we gotta carry them all. I'm not really sure what's happening, guys. All right, we're checking the bathroom. Hold up. Looking for anything else? I don't see a clarinet anywhere. <sighs> not in there. I hear him opening doors, too. Wait, it says return the painting to the boatmobile. So, oh, do we get, like, checkpoints for each one we do? Uh, oh, he's close. He's close. I'm going. I ain't doing this. Let's get it. All right, call the elevator. Let's see what happens then. So, if we go down... All right, here we go. Now... Oh, he sounds close. We can leave. And we put it in the car. Recovered one of four. Let's go. Oh, crap. He's right there. Oh, boy. We're going. No, ain't doing that. It's going to take some time to reach. Why can't I talk? Yeah, that elevator is like key flanking uh, mechanics right there, guys. That's how we do it. All right. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. He sees me. I'm going upstairs. I go. I go. I don't know if he can get me up here, though. Uh, what the freak do we do now? Still can't take the statue. Oh, I see that glowing. I see that glowing. Such a, such a, such a, such a, go. Oh my, bro, I'm way too slow. Oh my, suck. Close the door, don't stop it, bro. I'm dead. <laughs> Give me a checkpoint after I get one of the things, please. No, no checkpoint. You have to do the whole thing in one sweep. Don't go this way. Don't go this way. I'm hiding out, please. Okay. We might get this one this time. He's got to stay really concentrated that way, though. He has to. Then I hit the elevator, and I should be able to get out of this one. Close that door. All right, that's two out of four, then. This painting sucks, though, how you can't drop it. I really wish you could drop the items as you're moving around. We got the heavy one. I'm just worried about that statue, because that's going to be bad. Yes! Wait, I got a checkpoint! Oh, let's go! Yes, they're giving checkpoints now! That's what I like to see. So find the clarinet. Oh, I will. I will soon. All right, let's locate this clarinet. Should be, I would imagine, somewhere in the bedroom. But I've been fooled many a times. How about down in here? No! You don't store the clarinet next to the gun? What's wrong with you? Listening, I'm listening. Ooh, I don't think he's this way. All right. Yeah, we move. Ooh, he might be in there. You in there, though? What is oh, bro, he's not in the bathroom. Let's go. Maybe it's in the uh, the crap station. Are you playing the clarinet? Walt's taking it. Oh. How? Let's go. Uh, dude, I'm winning. You're trash. See you later. All right, let's go. That's three out of four. Boink. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the statue is on the top floor. We already know that. Uh, oh, what in barnacles? Climb it! I must have bumped into the fuse box. Dude, you're too thick. You gotta be aware of your, like... The elevator's broke. I think I'm dead. Find the wax sculpture of Squidward. Light off. I don't know if that will save me. Like, is this dude seen in the dark? Oh, I don't know. Here we go. We're going horror, though, guys. This is freaking me out. I'm scared. I'm terrified. This might, be, you know, this might be scarier than that last. Dude, I'm going. It doesn't seem like he can fit up the stairs, so I can make a dash for this thing. Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Come here, wax oh, flapping flossum. This thing is heavy. Just gonna carry this to the boatmobile, and we are our bail. It's not too bad. It's about the same movement speed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, he's behind me. That's the way I gotta go, though. Put the light. Hold on. Gotta listen. He might be moving away. Maybe now's a chance. Okay, that's the bathroom. Uh, wait, I've gone the wrong way, I believe. I think I've gone the wrong way. I'm trapped. I'm dead. He's coming this way. I'm dead. Wait, did I just give him the one-two book on my shoe? I think I did. Hold on. Listen. Oh, he's coming back. Is he coming back? I don't know. I keep hearing sparkles around here, though. Where's the sparkles at? Light off. Dude. I did light off when he saw me in the- <laughs> Let me just see. Does it give you a checkpoint at the clarinet? It better. Let me see. That's dope. All right, so we're going this way here. Oh, he sounds like he's- Real close. We might be good. I think we might. As long as he's not downstairs, we're good. Don't be downstairs. I know that. Oh, no. He can come downstairs. I thought he could. <laughs> <laughs> he never came downstairs before, man. That trips me out. Bro, go away. The freak, why are you zapping an empty elevator? I think he's downstairs, guys. I really. Oh, he is. He is. <gasps> can I juke him? Juke him. Juke him. Juke him. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, oh, did you see the place? And he has no idea. Let's go. I could walk snail's pace. We straight up juked him out. Let's go. Oh, yes. SpongeBob Patrick, are you guys done? Because I am. Victory. Oh, yes. That went way better than I was predicting it was going to go, man. I remember the difficulties before. Given the one two buck on my shoe, they diving in. Let's go, SpongeBob. For it. Uh, the first one's two. Let's get it. All right. We went all the way back. Yeah, back well, up. 
He had the line for me, I guess. We're gonna get that B rank, guys. I'll take it. Let me see. Look, I'm happy with that, okay? We're gonna B rank Squidward. Good job, man. Now, we get some new levels, and this is what I'm excited for, man. I wanna see how the story furthers a little bit, too. So we all come back. Oh, I see that. Ooh, let's see. So we got Tentacle Acres and also the Bargain Mart. Let me just save that game real quick. Let me just see Tentacle Acres then. So you play as Squidward. The difficulty for this one is average. All right. Let me check out the other one then. I just want to see what the difficulty is. If I want to go shopping, man, because I kind of want some goods. I'm feeling peckish. Take a look. The Bargain Mart. Who's being sent in? Mr. Krabs. It's that easy difficulty. You know what? Let's go ahead and grab some goods, man. Let's send Mr. Krabs in and let him get the mission done. So here we go. Oh, SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs. All right. SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs go on a shopping spree with me on their mind. If there's an invasion, they need to prepare. By now, most of the Jillians have taken plenty of captives and created clones who are shopping in the store. This invasion is more than they bargained for. Well, let's take a look. There's the bargain, Mark. Hey, I'm seeing people in the shop as well. Loads of Jillians. Oh, okay. We just mingle <laughs> on between them. Arr, if we're really going through with this plan, we need plenty of yep. mail. Yep. Bargain Mart's the place for all of our condiment needs, Mr. Krabs. Oh, yeah. Right you are, lad. Come on, let's go. That, what was... Bro, don't even talk about that voice. Where do you think you're going? No. Oh Not my! Again. Oh! He just tried to give him the joke! Now that's the hat I don't want to be what Dude, Bendy and the Ink Machine developers get inspired. And he goes out with the cash! Look at that! He got the goods and he is done. Um, what's the plan B? Uh, I think I have an idea. Let's see what that is. Oh god. Yep. They're suiting up. I knew these bad boys would come in handy. <laughs> ah, what do these glasses do? Should our eyes from the store's LEDs, lad? Nope, these puppies fooled the clones the first time we were invaded. Uh, I don't know, boy. I think they're not that dumb. Well, that's why it's important to remain inconspicuous. As long as we don't arouse suspicion, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, Mr. Krabs don't believe it, neither do I. Send me in the store, dude. We're timed. Collect all of the available tubs of mayo. Oh, so how do I not look mm. inconspicuous? Uh, I'll look away. Is that all I do? Do I just not make eye contact? Let me see. Okay, I need some more mayo. Oh, look at that. Nick Mayo. Yeah, give me more mayo. Dude, you see SpongeBob behind me? <laughs> I don't really get what I'm doing. I see that security guard following me. Um, Do I just kind of, you know, roll like this? Get all the mayo and, you know, get the freak out? Go this way here. Let's get this one. You know, I'm... Hey, look, it's a bubble bass. He's got to have some cash, right? Buddy, you good? What do I do? All right. What the freak? Ah, you're learning from a professional. Take notes, me boy. Bro, we, we can't, let's just get it. All right, so I think we just literally sweep the aisles. We should be good so long as we, uh, you know, keep going like this. I don't know if this one's supposed to have more strats to it. Bit confused, guys. What's that? What the heck is that? Why is that kind of cute, though? I don't know. I'm going on the low. I'm going on low. We snitch that. All right, you don't need that anyway. You don't even know what money is. You're stupid. Why is there a burger here, though? Whoa, hey, let's go. Woo! Oh, we get that speed boost. I'm the bro, manager of the store. Bro, go away! What the freak are you looking at? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just doing my thing. You know, I'm minding my own. Let me do my thing. I'm trying to figure out, like, what makes me look inconspicuous and, like, weird, though. Like, sometimes they look at me and they get a bit, like, weirded out. Let's see. Right, that guy didn't. Uh, I don't really get it. Is it just making eye contact with them? Does I come? Like, speak with you for a moment? No, I'm busy, dude. Sorry. See you later. Dude, why you. Go away. Like. Wait, it raised my suspicion level if it touched me, or she did. What the heck? This is like Night of the Consumers, but Spongebob style. Stop right there. Nah, I'm busy. See you later. Go, go, go away, you b moron head. His sponge friend's looking a little shaky. Nah, you're wrong. He's fine. He's with me. Me and him, are, you know, we go back a long way, I'm telling you. I don't really get this, so hold on. I get one more and I've got the mayo. So we did that first try. Either steal enough money to pay or create a diversion and escape to the front door without payment. Wait. How do I do a diversion? I, I didn't sign up to this. I got the mail. I've done my end of the trade. What's going on? I can't. Oh, I was hoping I could push those over or something. I can't. Oh, wait. What do we do? I don't understand how we do a diversion. Can we mess with this thing? Okay. I want a box. My time's out. Um, so he wants a box. Hold on. If I, first of all, steal some cash if I can. Nope. Uh, security guard's not watching. Still coming after me though, so I can't do that. He wants a box like this. Okay, I've got the box. He's the diversion. Go! The sponge friends Dude, get the freak away from me! Go away, go away, go away! Right, diversion in bad. here we go. Mike, let's go. Oh, here's a box, finally. Thanks, Sponge. What's he gonna do? Do a diversion, don't give me a token. Um... Stop right there. Why, why did you just implode, though? I wanted you to help me out. I think I messed up, guys. All right, one more cash register, so that's four. I don't know where the last money thing is, though, guys. I've been looking everywhere. Maybe there's, like, something we gotta find? Like, a secret? Is it, like... There it is. Dude, we found it. We found it. All right, run. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, see you later. I don't care. Let's go to this one here. Let's go ahead and pay. Woo! Can I pay? Hold on, let me see. I think this might be it. Let's take a look. 
Dude, that was a valued voice crack. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Krabs, see you line. Uh, hello, son. I'm here to acquire some of your products. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very well. Let me scan your <laughs> items. <laughs> oh, uh, of course. You see uh -huh. the problem is. Mayonnaise? <laughs> oh, boy, it's easy now. I thought we disposed all traces of mayo. What was the meaning of this? Did you check the center of all of your aisles, dude? It was stacked to the brim. <laughs> well, uh, uh, barnacles. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> Dudes, do they seriously think they got a chance getting us though? Yo, wh where are you chasing, fellas? Not bad, not bad. So we've conquered the uh, the bug and mart or the bargain mart. Let me first of all save that game real quick. The tentacle acres. Now, this is what I'm kind of curious about. You'll play as Squidward. Uh, the level is average. Give me that. Let's go. Well, SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs are out shopping for surplus of mayo. Squidward takes it upon himself to use what's left of the Krusty Krab and bring it to the tentacle acres. Despite disliking the dullness of the community, he can't sit and watch his own kind become mindless zombies. However, the mindless adult he dragged along to help him didn't make the situation much better. That was a shot, Patrick. What goes down here then? Oh, it looks like it might be a maze. I'm seeing laser fences. Hey, Squidward, are you sure Mr. Krabs will be fine with us using his mail? Uh, uh, since you've been pestering me for the past 20 minutes, I'll be honest. No. Oh. Then why are we out here? SpongeBob said you didn't like to call it. I never said that. We're just making sure all the clones are gone. As I see it, this place has the largest group of them. We'll sneak in, pour some mail into their plumbing, and then we can leave. I'll even let you go first, Patrick. I'm placing all my trust in you. Oh, goody. First, let's go order some fried oyster skins from that guy over there. On second thought, I'll lead the way. I think that's it's probably best if you guys want to get out alive, you know? I hope you guys aren't minding the less edited style for this one. I was trying to, like, do these a bit longer because I think there's 16 different mini games in total. So I'm thinking we try and get about two to three done each episode. Let's at least explore this one. We might not beat it, but I'll give it a good look, guys. Let's see. Okay, we've got a handle. Oh, we're going to drag the bin in the way, all right? We're going to stand on top of that thing. Oh, trash can, okay? Yo, let's go. Oh, yes. Are you coming or standing there, fella? Skip you. I ain't waiting. Let's go. Maybe he comes through? Let's take a look. What do we see? It looks kind of clear. Hey, what? You target person. I think we might be dead. We are literally the sworn enemies of this place. And look who arrived, guys. Squidward and Patrick. All right, let's take a look around this thing. So, okay, I appreciate you looking after the flowers. But these down here. Dang. That's rough. What the heck just happened? I don't even know what went down. Ness is pretty sloppy when digging towards their prey, so listen for burrowing. I heard nothing though. Hold up. Okay, I'm hearing stuff. What am I? Oh, I see it. Whoa! What is happening? Wait, what on earth is happening here? This seems very unfair. I hate this dude already. I right, see. There he is. There he is. Look. Oh. Hold up. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. Here, dude, is he digging towards me? Oh, oh, he is. How do you avoid that? I don't think you can. Oh my gosh, dude, that sucks. Is he still digging towards me? He's not. Okay, we've made some progression. Now we get the hint. In certain situations, it may seem impossible to proceed without a little help, but looking for you, Pebble Paws, are at your disposal. Hi, right, guys. So, to get around this situation that we might be facing soon, we need some of these pebbles. Let's go. How many do I get? I don't know. I guess we've got enough. Let's move on through. It's like little puzzles each time. Is there something in there? I'm seeing like smoke plumes. I don't know. Ooh, either way, this is going to be fun, so throw that about there. Hey, let's go. That was loud, though. That was very loud. Let me get a new pebble. Give me one of that. Let's go across the bridge. We don't like water, even though we're underwater. Uh, question, how's it raining, by the way? You guys are free to answer that, if you so wish. All right, next part of the puzzle, let's go. Ooh, all right. Survey the lands a little bit. Trying to see if anything looks out of place. There's a light source. Ah, watch this then. So throw that about there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On the low, on the low. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Fake Squidward. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Woo! So we get around him like so. All right. Let's do this. Did you see? I think you saw Patrick's back, mate. Guys, we're moving. We're moving. Keep going. Keep going. We need more pebbles. Another explosive. Immediately, I'm seeing that. So we'll take that one. All right. Let's do this. I'm seeing a guy there. There's also one right there, though. Wait. Let me test it. If I throw the pebble there, it smashes that. When he explores that, does he stay there forever? Just check this one out. So he's exploring that. Okay, it seems like maybe his new location is always... Wait, don't go back. Don't walk back, buddy. Please. We're shining that straight in my face. New pebble? Okay, so we've established that. But I don't get how that's going to help my situation here, though. Have I just launched a pebble at his head? Oh, my... What? Oh! <laughs> oh, that was worth it! That was worth it. If you're going to take me out, I... Wait, let's allow it. I want to see the drums. <laughs> my neck is gone. All right, now, i got to test this. So if I throw that there, first of all, it's going to bring him straight back to our location. Wait, we can hide in these, right? Oh, I get it. Okay, so we take that. Let me just hide here. I hope this counts as hiding. Patrick, you're not doing a very good job, though, fella. We're all good to go here. Okay, he says that. Let me see. 
Then he looks around. Look, he looks that way. But the worm stays fixated in this direction. I don't know if that's going to really cost us, though. So he looks only two directions now. I could run over there real quick. Oh, I don't know about this one, guys. This is really difficult. Bro, I don't get it. Wait, can I throw... I really don't understand this one. I'm sure there's a logical puzzle here, but my brain is slow today. Why can't I figure this out? Alright, guys, so I'm not disturbing the dude with the worm. I think we gotta stay away from him as far as we can. Now, I've smashed the vibes here. This guy has came across, but he's now kind of patrolling in like a circular motion, which does give us time at this point to run all the way down. It's just like, I'm now thinking, how do I get around this? Wait, I think my brain is actually working. First of all, let's go long here. Please hit, let's go, let's go. We messed up. Yes, I got it. I got it. Big plays. Big plays right there. Now, my strap might be completely busted up, which would completely nullify anything I'm about to say. All right, guys, we got to go real quick now. Woo We've got just about enough time. So, my guy is looking our direction still. Should he not be looking at the vase? Wait, is there another vase somewhere? I can't see one immediately. I think there is guys to disturb this guy. Ooh, he's gonna catch us. That's the thing. How do we get around this? Patrick, I can see inside your skull. This is not comforting at all. I throw that now. Let's see. All right, so he's gonna go over there permanently. Now, I don't know if I can sneak around this guy. Like, I wanna go like this, then in here. Ooh, this feels bad, though. Oh, no. It... I'm hiding! Oh, no, no. I was hiding! That's not fair. Let's pull crap. Let's pull crap. Run, 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 run. Get done. I didn't. <laughs> Literally a leaf, man. Why is this happening? Here we go. Let's try something different this time, okay, guys? This might be really sketchy. Oh, boy. Don't look around. Bro! It doesn't make sense. Like, sometimes he only looks at 90 degrees, then the other times it's 180. It's completely luck-based with this guy. That did also make me turd, okay? I'm gonna be honest. Look, guys, watch. He'll go Sometimes he looks... Like, he looks this way that time. How can I predict then? I don't really get it. And then he skips a court. Dude, that, that makes this very, very difficult. Like, I don't know if he's gonna look... How was I to know he was gonna look this way? Is it like, maybe then next time he will skip a phase? One. Okay, he looks this way. Then he looks the other way. Does he then skip a phase? Let me see. There's no pattern to this. Dude, I'm chancing this. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm literally done with this. I'm going here. Okay, let me see. All right, he spins around. So if I hide here, I think I'm hidden. Let me see. Maybe, I hope. Patrick, please cover me. Don't see me. Dude, oh, no, no. I give up. No, leave me alone. <laughs> Guys, well, we're gonna come back to this one in the next episode. I really don't understand the mechanics. Like, it tells you to hide, and then the hiding doesn't work. So, I'm a little confused. Maybe I've got to find different bushes to hide within, or Patrick just has to get his cheeks actually within the confinements of those little kind of reef sections so we can actually hide. That's about all the time I've got today, though, guys. So, I'm gonna close this one off here, and I really hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, why not drop me that like, create, and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.